Today we're talking about things to know before traveling to Roatan, Honduras. Some of you may ask, why would you want to visit Roatan? Roatan is a popular tourist destination with pristine beaches, white sand, and laid-back atmosphere. It is the largest island in Honduras and is home to the numbers of resorts, restaurants, shops, and amazing scuba diving. The island of Roatan is located in the Caribbean Sea. It has a population of about 110,000 people. It has a reputation as a paradise island for those looking to visit an overseas destination. Some things to know before visiting Honduras. The language is English and Spanish. On the island, they mainly speak English. On the mainland of Honduras, they mainly speak Spanish. The current exchange rate for every $1 is 24 lempira as of the making of this video which is fairly strong compared to other countries like Venezuela, where $1 is 462,786. Can you believe that? Honduras, let's stay strong, baby. Passport information before traveling. One page is required in your passport for an entry stamp, which I don't understand why, because they don't stamp your passport anymore. In Honduras, they have those scanning machines where they just swipe through the scanning machine now, so. Your passport must have six months valid before its expiration date. If it does not have six months prior to expiration date, you will not be able to travel. You can get one rush to you for about $300 or more, depending on what company you use. Tourist visa requirement. US citizen do not need visa to enter Honduras for stays up to 90 days. If you stay over your time, you have to pay a fine. That fine depends on how many days you stay over. Other nationalities should check with their local embassy or consult for visa requirements. Vaccinations. Honduras currently requires travelers arriving from Panama and every nation in South America to present proof of yellow fever vaccine. After you book your trip, they only allow up to three days in advance to fill out their pre-check form online. So make sure you don't forget. Here, you will upload your test results. If you are vaccinated, you still need to get tested. Before you board your flight, you must show your negative test results to the airline. The curfew in Roatan is 10 p.m. as of this video. Currency restrictions for entry and exit. Travelers must declare any amount over $10,000 for exit and entry. Some of you may ask, how safe is the country? According to travel.state.gov, the travel advisor level are as follow. One, exercise normal precaution. Two, exercise increased precaution. Three, reconsider traveling. Four, do not travel. And Honduras fall under number three. Side note, these rules do not apply to Roatan as Roatan is fairly safe. Also stated by travelstate.gov website, Areas frequented by tourists such as the Bay Islands, including Roatan, Utila, Guanaja, and Coupon Ruins have notably lower rates of violent crime and increased law enforcement services. So in other words, Roatan is safe to travel. Hey, there's no place in the world that's crime free. Well, maybe Alaska, but who lives there, right? And when you decide to come to Roatan, Make sure you book with me for all your tours and activities. Links are in the description below. When visiting Honduras, there are some things to have in mind. Avoid demonstrations and protest areas especially. Be aware of your surroundings. Avoid walking or driving at night. Do not physically resist any robbery attempt. Be extra vigilant when visiting banks or ATMs. Do not display any signs of wealth, such as wearing expensive watches or jewelry. Exercise caution using cell phone in public, including inside of cars while stopped at traffic. Always carry a photocopy of your passport and other important documents with you at all times. You never know what may happen, so it's best to keep the original in a safe place. You can also email it to yourself for later viewing. Keep your phone on airplane mode when you're not using it unless you have a nice international phone plan because the fees can be sky high depending on your carrier. When using the internet, use a VPN service to avoid potential hackers and snoops. Let me explain to you just a little bit on how VPN works and why you should consider getting one while abroad. I was abroad and I was trying to access my account, 
but the network didn't allow me to connect. I opened my app and turned my VPN on. I was able to log in and access my account freely. VPN creates a private communication tunnel that not even your internet service provider can see your info or traffic. This can be used to securely access your bank account information from anywhere in the world. All you need is one account to use on all platforms with unlimited numbers of devices. When you sign up right now, you will receive an 83% off and three extra months free. Link are in the description below. Some of you may ask, what is the weather like in Rotan and when is the best time of the year to visit? The weather in Rotan is hot and humid. The best time to visit the island is from November to April when the weather is more temperate. Hurricane season is mid-September to early November. Although the island is considered below the tropical hurricane belt, Hurricane Mitch hit there in 1998, which left more than 11,000 people dead and also causing more than five billion in damages. What should be included in your travel packing list for Rotan Honduras? Loose fitting clothes, slip on shoes, bathing suit, sunscreen, sunglasses, hat, and mosquito propellant. Wanna know what things to avoid in Honduras? Watch this video next. Thank you.